It is now my privilege as president to recognize members of the faculty who, after long and devoted tenure at the college, are entering upon emeritus status. I now ask Jack Muti, uh, Sidney Meyer Professor of International Economics, to rise. Early in this, his career, Jack Muti worked stints in the U.S. Treasury and the Council of Economic Advisors, but it was at Grinnell that he found his home. He is fascinated by big picture issues, including economic policy formation, international trade, and international taxation. Muti especially values the insights of students who bring into class their varied international experiences under diverse economic policies and circumstances. For his commitment to deeply understand and share how economic policies shape the world, we are pleased to recognize Jack Muti. I now ask Catherine Rod, Special Collections Librarian and College Archivist, to rise. There. <laughs> Catherine Rod has spent much of her career working to share Grinnell's valuable historical documents and artifacts with the campus community and with the world. She has helped faculty integrate special collections material into numerous courses. She has played a key role in digital Grinnell, which allows anyone in the world to access unique archival materials. And she's been an active in numerous library-led professional library organizations. <clears throat> For her efforts to bring libraries' vast resources to as many people as possible, we are proud to honor Catherine Rod. I now recognize Professor of Art History, Susan Strauber, who could not be with us today. In her roles as both an art historian and as a professor at Grinnell, Susan Strauber sought to make a measurable impact. Strauber's ambitious projects included revising and translating a compendium of the prints of French artist Urgent Delacroix, a vital resource for art historians. She also helped determine the authenticity of works attributed to the artist. At Grinnell, she helped triple the number of tenure-track professors in the department over the course of her career. For her efforts to strengthen Grinnell's art history department and her work to do research that benefits the field itself, we are pleased to recognize Susan Strauber. <clears throat> I now ask Chuck Sullivan, Professor of Biology, to rise. Okay. Uh, for Chuck Sullivan, the value of research was not what it could do for his career, but what it could do for his students' lives. He worked with more than 100 students on research projects, many of whom pursued careers in science. More recently, his roles with the National Science Foundation and George Washington University School of Medicine have allowed him to develop programs designed to improve undergraduate and graduate biology education nationwide. For his work to give students opportunities to understand science through research and the real world, we are pleased to recognize Chuck Sullivan. I now ask Professors David Arsenault and George Barlow to please stand. It is my honor to recognize those faculty members moving to senior faculty status. Senior faculty status recognizes those members of the faculty who wish to be released from their regular full-time teaching obligations to pursue scholarly and professional activities associated with the college. Congratulations. <clears throat> 